Greetings, Congressman Michael Rogers, Republican representative from Michigan's 8th District. We are anonymous, and we have been extremely concerned with your conduct since being first elected to Congress in the year 2000. Your meteoric rise to the level of Chairman of the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence, and member of the elite gang of eight, who by federal law are briefed on every intelligence action undertaken by the federal government. In fact, you have become such a power in the House, that you have run virtually unopposed in every race for federal office you've been in as an incumbent but one. And even then you raised nearly three times the election funds of your opponent. In fact, in several elections, your Democratic opponents raised less than 1% of your war chest. That this has happened, and continues to happen, is a disgrace, especially given your record, and Anonymous is not pleased. We have been watching you, and we think it's time for some new blood in your district. We therefore call upon the Democratic Party to field and fund legitimate opponent to depose you in the next election for your crimes against the American people. Despite running without serious opposition, you still managed to rack up an impressive list of donors in the defense and technology sectors, from corporations that stand to benefit from your degradation of the Bill of Rights, corporations that are either in the business of expanding and facilitating domestic surveillance programs, or are affiliated with the unconstitutional PRISM program, SIIC, Boeing, Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, Bay Systems, AT&T, Verizon Communications, L3 Communications, Raytheon, Microsoft, and the list goes on and on. All told, you've raised $420,500 from these companies just since the 2006 election cycle, despite the fact that you could have defeated most of your electoral challenges on a child's allowance. And where did it all start to go wrong, Congressman? Was it your support for the USA Patriot Act in 2001, and its love of warrantless wiretapping? Could it be the Patriot Act reauthorization of 2005? Your monumental vote for the Protect America Act of 2007 that paved the way for the unconstitutional PRISM program? Was it your reauthorization of the USA Patriot Act of 2011? Perhaps it was your failure to attempt to rein in the NSA following the FISA Court's 86-page 2011 opinion declaring the NSA's activities in violation of the Fourth Amendment and the 2008 FISA amendments? Or maybe it was your disgusting CISPA Act that you rammed through the House on not one, but two occasions, despite the fact that it had no chance of being signed into law. Was it the fact that you have voted against the Amash Amendment, which would have stopped the NSA from co-opting the telephone records of hundreds of millions of Americans, again, without warrants? Of course, it could have been when you lied in telling the American people that the emails of Americans were not being tracked without a warrant, when the NSA to Lex Geeks Corps makes it clear that that isn't true. Regardless of where your crimes begin and end, it has been apparent to Anonymous that you take pride in using the Constitution and the Bill of Rights as toilet paper. Your constituents should be ashamed of you, and we call upon them to force you out of office at their earliest opportunity. A virus has been detected. Anonymous is working to correct the system failure. We are Anonymous. We are Legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.